Hello, I'm Jack Ware. It's my pleasure to guide you through a tour via film of the most remarkable community of its kind in America, perhaps the world. Those are strong words, but I think you'll see what I mean shortly. First, let's ask the question, why the appeal of Sun City? Why does it appeal to so many people? I think there's more interest today in the quality of life, the quality of living, than at any time in history. Now, how has this interest come about? Perhaps simply because the developments of the last 50 years have made a way of life possible today that was beyond man's dreams a hundred years ago. Consider, for instance, the magic of television, the telephone, radio, motion pictures. If it weren't for that, I couldn't be visiting with you now. The airplane, printing press, refrigerated air conditioning, and medicine. Now all these wonders are available to everyone, certainly to people who have earned their way in this world. But even the affluent cannot always fully enjoy the wonders of this age, because this age of miracles has produced some conditions that are not conducive to the good life. Our great population centers, the cities, were not planned for today's population. Like Topsy, they just grow. We all know the results, the crush of automobiles, pollution, decaying cities, and the rest of it. And then there are the hard winters in the north and northeastern part of our country. And now by contrast, let's take a tour of Sun City. I think you may see why it is a dream world. It was planned so that people could live in comfort, in peace, among friends, with everything they may need or want to do conveniently nearby. Hello, Don Sharp. Hello, Jack. How have you been? Fine, thank you. What a gorgeous, gorgeous garden. Jack, I'm just a genius. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Del Webb, the creator of Sun City, anticipated the need for a resort-type community where enterprising people like himself could live in peace, comfort, in beautiful surroundings, and could participate in activities of their own choosing. The result of this idea was Sun City. Also, he built nearly all the things that people might need before he opened Sun City. Well, that was 1960. Today, Sun City is a paragon of resort retirement living. Let's take a look at some of the facilities Sun citizens enjoy. First, there's the Lakeview Center, one of five lavish recreational centers. Let's take a little walk through and see what's going on. Behind these doors is a magical world of professionally equipped studios and shops. Some people continue their old hobbies here, but many start anew. For them, there are qualified instructors. In any case, there are arts and craft studios in most of the recreational centers. Now adjoining the Lakeview Center is a beautiful mini golf course. And it's tricky too. And tennis is a very popular sport here. Around the cove here are lawn bowling greens. There are courts for this famous old game at all the recreation centers. Just behind the lawn bowling is one of many shuffleboard courts. There's Viewpoint Lake in the background. It's stocked with fish, perfect for sailing, and the romantics enjoy the paddle boats. Now, let me show you a little surprise. That large building there is another recreational center. It's called Sundial. You can see why it's called Sundial. Now, let's take a look at this surprise. This is the entrance mall at Sundial. 
And just over there is a magnificent indoor pool. There it is, the largest indoor pool in Arizona. And the room is air conditioned so that some citizens may swim year round in perfect comfort. Or just lounge poolside in the restful atmosphere of this garden-like room. Beyond the far side of the pool, there's another surprise. Indoor shuffleboard courts in an air-conditioned room. And speaking of rooms, this building, the Sundial Recreational Center, has 81 rooms. Let's take a look at one of them, the auditorium. This recreational center has a full complement of arts and craft studios, too. Now, let's take a walk out here. Here's an innovation in lawn bowling. Artificial surface. At least the surface will be constant year-round. Adjoining this lawn bowling green is another mini golf course. But you haven't seen anything yet. Let's hop in the copter again. We've got a whole passel of recreational centers. There's Mountain View Recreational Center. It has an auditorium, whirlpool bath, swimming pool, lawn bowling, mini golf. Here's another recreational center. It's called Fairway. It has arts, craft studios, and most of the things we've just seen at the other recreational centers. Here's still another recreational center. It's called Oakmont. Do you have any idea how much it costs to use these recreational centers we've just toured? Well, I'll tell you how much it costs. It costs less than 10 cents a day per person. That's right, less than 10 cents a day per person. And Sun City residents, through their own organization, Recreation Centers of Sun City Incorporated, own and operate these lavish recreational facilities themselves. Down there is our beautiful 4,000-seat baseball stadium where major league teams play exhibition games every spring. And during summer, our own Sun City Saints, a nationally famous girls semi-pro softball team, plays the nation's best in a summer-long schedule. Now, don't go away. The Sun Bowl, our outdoor amphitheater. Famous performers appear here in a series each spring. Also, shows and other special events are presented throughout the year. Here's Lakeview Lanes, the Sun City Bowling Center. In addition to automatic pin setters, it also has automatic scoring equipment. Most cities struggle to keep their symphony orchestras going. But our orchestra, with some 65 members, thrives before enthusiastic audiences. The orchestra gives both pop and classical concerts and presents noted soloists regularly. Sun City has many other performing groups also. If musical or theatrical activities are your cup of tea, then you'll find plenty of opportunity here. There's an important place in Sun City for horse lovers, Rancho Estates. Acre lots with horse privileges. For other outdoor people, there's a magnificent trap and skeet range, archery lists, storage for trailers and campers, and the agricultural club for the farmers and green thumbs. Of all outdoor sports, Sun City is perhaps most famous for its golf courses. It is a golfer's paradise. There are nine courses now, and more are coming. Some citizens may play all the public courses for very low annual rates, and they may own their own golf carts, which double for low cost and pollution-free transportation around Sun City. The great green fairways wander through Sun City and keep the city loose. Many people prefer private country clubs, Sun City has beautiful ones, and like all such clubs, they feature social life 
fine dining, and private golf courses. These exclusive facilities are available on a voluntary basis and are owned and operated by the membership. Then there's the private social and dining club, the Lakes Club, located on Viewpoint Lake. It provides festive social affairs, dancing and dining, and a view. My father once said that he was like an old car. The older he got, the more repairs he needed. Of course, a hospital at any age is important. Some citizens are fortunate to have in their midst the Walter O. Boswell Memorial Hospital, which they help finance and build, and they participate in its administration. There's the entrance to the emergency department, open 24 hours, of course. Oh, and right over there is the Lakeview Medical Arts Center. It accommodates about 100 doctors, and there are other medical centers throughout Sun City also. Now, this is a general map of Sun City. The hospital is located just here. You see, it's located in just about the middle of Sun City. Now, while we're looking at maps, let me show you something remarkable about this hospital. This is a floor plan of a nursing unit. You'll notice that it's round. There's some reasons for this. Every patient is in view of the central nursing station. Also, it's just a short walk from that central station to any patient. Kind of a common sense sort of design, isn't it? Now, let's go see one of these units and see what they really look like. There it is. You'll wonder why they didn't think about it before. This magnificent new hospital serves the communities surrounding Sun City, too. But its facilities were designed with the older patient in mind. Oh, yes, over 170 physicians enjoy staff privileges at the Walter O. Boswell Memorial Hospital. Anyhow, Sun City residents have the finest medical facilities and services virtually around the corner from their homes. Once I heard a man say, now mind you, I didn't say it, I know it is heresy, but I did hear him say that his wife didn't know the difference between $5 or $500, that whatever amount he gave her, she spent. Well, now, of course, I've never known a woman like that, but I can understand the temptations in the shopping centers at Sun City. They are lovely, with everything you could dream of beautifully displayed. This one is called La Ronde. Yes, I can see how a lady might lose her balance here. <laughs> her bank balance, that is. Presently, there are six major shopping centers in Sun City, having over 275 shops, services, and stores. These shopping centers are conveniently located throughout Sun City. You can reach them on a bike or golf cart if you wish. Browsing through shops here is fun. You'll see everything high fashions, imported goodies, you name it, and it's here. And in beautiful, accessible settings. In Sun City, shopping can be a pleasant adventure. There are as many facets to Sun City as are wanted by its residents. Readers can enjoy the best minds and entertainment in history simply by opening a book. Many businessmen who have enjoyed lifelong affiliation with national and international service clubs will find vigorous and friendly chapters here, too. Of course, some boys who fell by the wayside in their youth have never fully recovered. Then there are those girls and boys who learned the joys of tripping the light fantastic in their salad days. They'll find the light-footed ones still at it. But the stimulation of the mind is eagerly sought after in Sun City, too. Nationally famous lecturers appear before enthusiastic audiences throughout the year. Probably more than anything else, the churches in Sun City reflect the nature of the people who live here. New churches are built by the residents as they wish, and there are facilities for worship for all faiths. Sun City is very popular with grandchildren because there are so many things to do here that they like to do. 
However, they can't live in Sun City unless they're 18 years old. One of the happy things about living in Sun City is that there is a wide range in the types of dwellings available. We call them modes. For instance, we offer five distinctively different modes of living. Single family homes, garden court apartments, duplexes, patio apartments, and the foursomes. Now let's take a look at these different types of homes. You'll notice they're all on the ground level, just one floor. First, let's take a look at the single family homes. They are available in nine different floor plans. Oh, one very important point. All Sun City dwellings contain refrigerated air conditioning. It's included in the basic price. The nine floor plans are available in four entirely different front elevations. You get an idea here of some of the enormous variety you may choose from. This mode is called the garden court apartments. Some people prefer a minimum living space. Others have homes in different places and live here only part of the time. These dwellings were designed with these people in mind. Oh, one very important point. The quality of materials, appliances, and workmanship in all five modes is the same. These are the duplexes. They feature very handsome front exterior designs and garden-like yards and entrances. Oh, another important point. You hold a deed to your property in Sun City, just as you would to private property anywhere. These apartments are called the patio apartments. We think their floor plans are especially good. Their name, patio apartments, is derived from this beautiful wall-enclosed rear patio. Privacy and security are important elements in the design of all Sun City homes. Here's mode five, the foursomes. They feature a seven-foot wall-enclosed rear patio. These patios are large, and you may have large outdoor parties in privacy here. The foursomes have big rooms and are handsomely appointed. In any case, when you visit Sun City, your problem of making a choice may be an adventure in itself because there are so many types of homes to choose from. First-hand experience is still the best. You've seen Sun City via film, but that's second best. So why not treat yourself to a grand vacation under the sunny Arizona skies and see Sun City at first hand? We have a special program. It's called the Vacation Special for people who wish to see Sun City. On this program, you can sample Sun City living for a full week. For example, vacationers stay in apartments such as these. They are completely furnished, including linens and dishes and all apartments have refrigerated air conditioning. You have your own automobile carport in the rear. On the vacation special program, you'll enjoy a tour of Sun City, free golf, dancing, and a breakfast, where you'll see the film, The Story of Arizona and Sun City, narrated by Senator Barry Goldwater. The film is a color travelogue about the state of Arizona and its history. Then there's a barbecue at the fabulous Lakes Club and a week chuck full of fun, excitement, and visiting in America's most famous resort retirement community. Now, what is the cost of this one week's vacation, including the air-conditioned apartment? Only $99, and that's for two people. However, there is one condition. One of the couple must be 50 years or older. Now, you may prefer to vacation in the summer or early fall. The price is still only $99, but you can stay for two weeks during that season. Please come out and visit us. You'll never really know what Sun City is like until you do. For more information about the Vacation Special program, please write to Vacation Special, Post Office Box 666M, Sun City, Arizona. There's one more important thing about Sun City that you'll learn when you visit here. It's filled with friendly, warm, helpful people. You never have to be lonely here. 
because you may have as many friends as you wish. May we have the pleasure of your company. A trip to Arizona and Sun City could be a trip into your future.